and welcome to another reading vlog so i'm gonna try and do another weekly reading vlog which will include my lockdown weekend readathon coming up this weekend i am starting this on a wednesday so it is 20th of january this month has gone so fast really really fast so weird yes today is the 20th of january and i have some reading updates for you guys so i finished from blood and ash the other day and i freaking love this book this book was so good like oh i really did love it it took me a while to get into it also my hair is still wet and drying in so let's just ignore this um but yes it did take me a while to get into this book i found it quite slow to begin with but once that plot picked up yeah this was just so good i did expect a lot more smut than what was in here i'd say the only real intense smut for me was the snow scene which if you've read it you know what I'm talking about. I'd say about halfway through the book, I kind of knew what the two plot twists were gonna be and I was totally right. And I even wrote it, you know I'm gonna try and find it cause I wrote like a big note, like, oh my God, I knew this was gonna happen. I even wrote like here, like, oh my God, I suspected that, blah, blah, blah. Don't pause that and read what that says if you don't wanna be spoiled by the way. I just knew like that was gonna happen. I'm a little bit, conflicted about the ending a little bit but i still really really enjoyed this and the way this ended like the finishing line amazing i'm so excited to read the second book but i don't know if i'm going to start the second book this week my dilemma is the fact that this these are big books i mean i read this in a week and i definitely could have read it a lot quicker i have so many books on my tbr and there's only like a week and a bit left of the month and i really want to get some of those read and if i go onto the sequel i don't know how long it will take and then i won't read anything on my tbr so I'm trying to read a couple of books first and then maybe get onto the sequel. I'm not really sure, but I gave this five stars, obviously, and it was so good. I really, really loved it. I haven't really read much else. I did start The Near Witch by Victoria Schwab. I'm on page 50 of this, so I'm hoping to read this like as quick as I can and just get this ticked off my TBR. I'm going to try and get through some graphic novels and some manga, but I will just like pick them up at random throughout the week. But those are all my reading plans for this week. Oh, and of course, Pride and Prejudice. My buddy Ruby Caitlin has <laughs> just, yeah, I really need to catch up with that. I want to try and finish that by the end of the week, but I don't know if I will. So I'm going to try and read like 50 pages of that tonight at least, but we shall see. I don't know. But I did receive a package today and I believe this is from Liv from That Fiction Life. She messaged me saying she wanted to send me something. So I'm excited to see what it is. <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> I have no words. What? Live. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a note as well. Oh, oh my god. And there's like, oh, there's bookmarks. Oh my god. Forever full of fictional characters who are supernatural. Liv has actually made these herself, which is absolutely amazing. Look how stunning these are. I love this. Oh my god. Amazing. I am literally like in awe. Like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Let's just read the note. I love you so much, Liv, seriously. 
basically a while ago i did a tweet about like when you're looking for a book and it's going for like over 100 pound on ebay and it was like with a meme and then my friend caitlin replied to it, like oh what book are you looking for and i was like well i'm looking for strange dreamer the uk hardcover which is nearly like impossible to get hold of now and so expensive um i just really really want it i want to read the book but i want like that specific edition and yeah literally impossible to get unless you want to spend hundreds of pounds and Liv saw that tweet and she sent me her copy <laughs> so this is strange the dreamer by lani taylor but this is one that Liv actually had signed she went to one of um her signings oh my god there's <gasps> this little like sticker thing in here as well oh my god these are so cute oh my god it's a tattoo <gasps> so cute but yeah Liv actually went to a signing and it obviously says for Olivia and it's signed and she said she doesn't think she'll ever get around to reading it or anything and she saw my tweet and wanted to give it to me and she said that she wanted to send it to me so yeah I, I can't like just look just look at this book oh my god like this is just I did not expect this in a million years and I just can't thank Liv enough like I love her so much she is literally such a nice person I adore her YouTube I think she was probably one of the first people I subscribed to on this channel we literally have like the most fun conversations where we just fangirl like so bad about so many different things and I just love our conversations and she's literally just the nicest person ever and she does the most amazing reviews and videos i will have her channel linked down below of course i've spoken about her a lot in my videos before but yeah thank you so much Liv, because this is literally like i'm literally so like in awe like i can't believe you sent this to me and then i have this book in my hands like so this is now also going to be added to my tbr but yes anyway i'm going to stop fangirling and i'm going to go message live <laughs> i will probably update you guys later i've got a parcel and i have no idea what it is so gonna open it on here it's definitely not a book because it doesn't feel like one. Oh wait i think i know what this might be oh so this is from steph and it says hi jd love your videos and as we have a shared love for the nightmare before christmas i just had to get you and me this musical box enjoy from steph oh my god i'm literally like i know what this is now <laughs> i'm so excited and i love the fact that we both have one of these as well <gasps> my eyes are watering because this is so cute Oh my god i did not expect it to make that oh my god okay this is absolutely stunning thank you so much steph because this is just yeah this is made my life i love this so much thank you so much steph i absolutely love that and that is so kind of you thank you thank you thank you first woman president yay finally yes gaga look oh look at her she looks stunning look how happy she is <laughs> Okay, hi. So today is Friday the 22nd. Haven't really updated you guys since yesterday and I didn't even update you guys much then. But today I have just been doing little bits and pieces. It's also my boyfriend's birthday, so obviously not gonna be vlogging a lot. And I went on Holly's live show for a bit, did some reading sprints, which was fun. Um, so I don't have a ton of reading updates. I do have a reading update for the near witch. I'm just gonna have a quick sip of tea read some more of the new witch i ended up going on mel reed's live stream the other night and i was up to like 3 a.m <laughs> but it was so fun and i did some reading sprints on it and i got to page 108 now so i haven't read a ton of this yet so yeah i have managed to make a little bit of progress on this not a lot though like i said only 100 pages in so yeah i am enjoying it i guess so far i still don't really get what it's about and i mean this was her first book but i mean I don't know I'm not really sure how I feel about it I think I still need to get a bit further in yet like I get sort of what the plot is but at the same time it's just a bit dull I, I don't know I can't quite put my finger on it so I'm hoping to read a lot of this and finish this by the weekend it is again of course my weekend lockdown readathon as per usual now so obviously today's friday so i'm going to be doing a lot of reading saturday sunday and hopefully really catching up with my reading we've got the live show and the reading sprint tomorrow on my channel 
So yes, I plan to try and finish this hopefully, but we shall see. And then I also read a little bit of Pride and Prejudice. This again, my buddy read with Caitlin. Caitlin, I'm so sorry. I know I've probably been the worst person to buddy read with. I don't know why. I just haven't really gotten to this book throughout the month. But I mean, I read a little bit of this when I was on Holly Sprints before from Spoopy Hall and i am now on page 67 so yeah this has taken me a long time to read because i've never read a classic before and i've tried in the past and failed and it's because of the writing because of some like old english in here or kind of vocabs the wrong way around and stuff i really struggle and have to sometimes reread certain parts to try and wrap my head around what the intention is i know i like the story as a whole i just don't know if i actually like the book if that makes sense like i've watched the movie and i love that i'm not sure about the book but yes i am 67 pages in so i might try and get to page 100 tonight if i do any reading tonight but i don't know if i will because like i said it's my boyfriend's birthday so i want to spend time with him I made a little bit of progress i'm gonna try at least read a little bit of this this weekend but i'm not going to be forcing myself to try and finish it or anything because i just wouldn't enjoy it then so yes there's that reading update but that's pretty much all of my updates for these two current reads i haven't put together my like proper little tbr for the weekend but my main one is going to be getting this read and then i'm going to go on to a new book but i'm not sure which one yet i do have some book mail i can show you guys which i'm quite excited about and i'm actually going to read this weekend so i received this in the post this morning and this is the sad ghost club by liz meddings and i got a nice little signed copy this is actually featured in my 2021 pre-orders video which will have gone up by the time this vlog goes up. If you're looking for any books to pre-order or books that are coming out and stuff in 2021, definitely head to that video. It is a very, very long video, but I talk about nearly 60 different books in there, so you will definitely find something. And there's a lot of different books in there, so it's worth checking out. But this is just a really good graphic novel. It's so cute with the little ghosts, and this is all about dealing with anxiety and when you're feeling bad your mental health isn't great and it's just supposed to be a really nice like kind of uplifting story and it touches on mental health and i'm really really like excited for that and the fact that it's a graphic novel so i think i'm going to be reading this this weekend as well i'm very very excited i just love the little ghosts and yeah so this is definitely on my tbr for the weekend readathon so i might read this tonight or start it or maybe tomorrow I'm not too sure yet. We'll see. But yeah, I just have so many books I want to read at once at the moment that I feel overwhelmed and I'm not getting enough reading done. So I need to just chill, finish my current reads. I still want to read Mina and the Undead. I really want to make a start on that. I want to read Grown and I also kind of want to start the Wicked Deep. And then I have some books that are actually on my tbr for january that i really want to get to but i just don't know shall see how this goes the weekend is going to be my main focus of getting as much reading done as possible so yes no more reading updates i guess i will probably update you guys later or tomorrow but i'm gonna go and chill for now so i'll see you on the flip side <laughs> okay so i'm gonna start this little graphic novel this will be my first read of the lockdown weekend readathon and i'm very excited because it looks so cute i saw steph read this and she loved it so i'm very very excited to read it i'm just checking the comments on my new vlog that went up and everyone is being so lovely to what i said about like doubting myself and just feeling like not the right person for youtube i've still been having those thoughts and i just think it's something i'm probably gonna be feeling and thinking for a while it's just one of those i think naturally everyone kind of compares themselves to other people and maybe doesn't feel good enough and yeah i just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who commented on that video being so lovely and supportive and just for everyone and support in general on my channel it really does mean the world to me and has a massive impact on me and i just really appreciate everyone who like subscribes to me watches my videos comments and it's just so lovely like i honestly can't thank you guys enough and yeah it just means the world to me and i've just been sitting here getting very emotional over the comments on here and they're just so nice and yeah i feel like i'm gonna cry <laughs> like genuinely i'm gonna put my phone down and i'll reply to some more comments in a bit because i need to get some reading i've got this upside down <laughs> i need to get some reading done so i'm gonna read some of this for anyone who's ever felt like a sad ghost so cute i already love this i feel like this is what i need right now 
I just finished this book and um, it's like ghost club this graphic novel i mean it was so so cute like literally so fun and it was just like really really nice and just i don't know like a reassuring read and i really like this that says just because it feels huge now it doesn't mean it will forever and that's something i definitely need to remind myself of more often um, but this was just such a good book and this really is just really really nice if you are someone who maybe struggles with anxiety or depression or any kind of mental health issues or just generally feeling overwhelmed by things and i would recommend this this is really really good it just kind of gives you like a little bit of a pick me up reminds you of some things and kind of reassures you and i just think that's really really nice and i love how like those people were represented as being like sad lonely ghosts like it was just a really cool like kind of metaphor i just love this this is definitely gonna be five stars and it was just really cute as well um so yeah i'd highly highly recommend this but that is the first book finished for the weekend readathon which is amazing um but now i'm gonna go and make a nice hot drink with my boyfriend do his birthday cake which he's not he's not looking forward to because he hates being the center of attention <laughs> so yeah we're gonna do his birthday cake um and i might update you guys later but we shall see Bathroom, which is a total mess and yes the fan is very very loud in here so I'm sorry um, but I haven't actually done any reading tonight which is great except for that graphic novel I might try and squeeze in a bit of reading before I go to bed but it's already really late it's almost midnight and I still have so much more editing to do for my pre-orders video and I need to have it exported and uploaded to YouTube tonight because it's going up on Sunday and I won't have time tomorrow um, so Yes, I really am trying to get that done. This video is 50 minutes long and is heavily edited and I've even deleted books out of it. And yes, there's about 70 books in this video. So I hope you guys appreciate the fact that this has taken me hours to edit and three and a half hours to film. And I just hope that you guys do find some really good books that are coming out this year in this video. I spent a lot of time looking at what was coming out this year and having a good research for the most part and also looking for a lot more diverse books one of my reading goals this year is definitely to read more diversely it's something i definitely need to do more and i feel like everyone can do more of so yes i have made sure that i've pre-ordered as many diverse reads as possible because pre-orders are so important especially for pock authors so yes i have um made sure that i've included a lot of different books and a lot of different genres mostly fantasy but there is some like manga graphic novels thrillers that kind of stuff in there but yeah for the most part i think it's okay um but i'm just getting really tired now and like i said i still have some rough edits to do and then i need to watch the entire video back to make sure there's no mistakes and obviously it's an hour long so that's an hour as well it's gonna be a late one <laughs> and i wanted to get up early tomorrow so i don't know i'll update you guys tomorrow so we can read us our one book now let's hope by tomorrow i have a tbr together and i can get some more reading done <laughs> Okay, hi, so it is Saturday now and I just got done filming a little video. I don't know how it's going to turn out because I feel like I've rushed it and I'm not really feeling my face or the lighting or anything, so I don't know if I'll even use it, but I filmed it anyway, so 
but it is almost 5 30 and i have literally wasted the day i woke up super late today which is really annoying because i'd planned to get up super early and get the reading done that hasn't happened but i do have my live show at seven so i will hopefully get a lot of reading done in the sprints but we shall see i don't know but yeah i have liv holly ro katie and karis joining me which i'm very very excited about it's gonna be a lot of fun and yeah we're gonna do some reading sprints and have some fun so hopefully some of you guys came along and joined us and had some fun too and got lots of reading done. But I will be reading these two books. So I will be reading The Near Witch and Pride and Prejudice. So yeah, I don't think I have any reading updates from what I was up to yesterday. I literally just haven't done any more reading at all <laughs> except for the graphic novel that I read last night. So I might switch in between these two. I might just read these two. I really don't know. We shall see what I'm in the mood for when the time comes. Or I might even just start a whole new book. I really don't know. I don't know what I'm in the mood to read. I did really, really want to finish The Near Witch this weekend. So maybe I'll read this. But I have been editing my pre-orders slash most anticipated reads of 2021 video all day. And it's finally uploading to YouTube. Hopefully it goes up by tomorrow. Fingers crossed. You'll have seen it by now if it did. I really hope that it did. So these are the two books I think I'm just going to stick with tonight. I probably won't be vlogging or anything else tonight. Because like I said, I'm going to be doing the live show all night. So I probably won't update you guys till tomorrow or after the live. I don't know yet. We'll see. So yeah, I've still got an hour and a half. So I think for now I'm going to go down. I'm going to make a hot drink so obviously a cup of tea and then i'm going to come up and i think i'm going to try and do some reading um really quickly before this sprint start as well because maybe i can get like a bit of a head start on these or maybe read some more of a graphic novel or something so yeah i think i'm going to do that and i'm going to order a takeaway as well because me and jb are going to order pizza i think and yeah i'm in the mood for pizza so that'll be fun so yes i will probably update you guys later or tomorrow Um, and it's like half an hour-ish till the live show, so not too far away. I think I'm going to read a little bit of this before the live show starts. Because I started this, I think, last weekend, and then I just haven't picked it up since. I think I'm going to read some of this quickly. And I've ordered pizza, so we're just waiting for that to arrive. It's probably going to come while I'm doing a live show, which will be fun. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, no more reading updates, so this reading vlog is just not going great. But... Yes, let's read some more of the Black Canary.
Okay, so I'm currently on Molly's live from Mind of Molly. And yeah, it's muted right now and stuff and the camera's off so obviously no one can see me, I hope. I don't know, the light's like reflecting really bad in my glasses. Today is Sunday, it's currently 10 to 12, so midnight. And I thought now would be a good time to come on and update you guys. Um, so yes, that's what we're doing now. So basically I had my live show yesterday and it was a wild time. We had a drunk Tasman, which was amazing. We had an appearance from Tom Hiddleston. And we just had a laugh and it was so funny and amazing and you guys can go and watch it. It will be up if you do want to go and watch it. It was very entertaining, very funny. We also had some really good discussions about like diversity in the publishing industry, the publishing industry in general, booktube, twitter drama. We talked all kinds of topics and it was really interesting. So yeah, it's probably worth going to watch that live, although it was seven hours long. So yeah longest live I've done so far but so much fun but yes I'm now just on Molly's live and um, with some lovely people which is really fun and I have finished reading The Near Witch on Steph's live earlier today I gave it three stars it was fun it was okay but it wasn't really anything special and it was a little bit dull um, but I still enjoyed it. Um, so I gave that three stars. I also finished reading Black Canary, the graphic novel I read if, like a weekend ago. I gave that three stars as well. I started reading A Deadly Education by Noe Novik. I got 37 pages in and DNF'd and I never DNF but it was just putting me into a slump. It was just, I didn't really get what was going on and I was just so bored. So I'm definitely coming back to that at another point in time because right now it's just not for me. But I have just started Ninth House. I'm only... 14 pages in it's finally happening after being on multiple tbrs for about a year i finally picked it up and i really hope i enjoy it 14 pages in and i'm kind of just being dumped with a lot of info so i'm not really sure how i feel about it just yet but yes 14 pages into that i think i'm just going to read that on molly's live for a bit longer and then i'm going to get some sleep because i'm exhausted that's pretty much all of my reading updates i'm looking very nice right now as well i do apologize for my appearance um, but yes, I just thought I'd update you guys now. so it's been a few days since i last updated you guys nearly a week but i kind of was supposed to end this vlog on wednesday it is now saturday the 30th of january so yeah i was supposed to end this vlog on wednesday and then start either a weekend reading vlog or just another weekly vlog from friday but that hasn't happened i haven't vlogged i haven't hardly read anything all week i started ninth house on a live stream i got 14 pages in and I haven't picked it up since and to be honest I just don't think I'm actually in the mood to be reading that kind of book right now I'm just not feeling it like I want to read it and I'm very excited to but I just don't feel like it's the right time and I feel like that will definitely affect how much I enjoy the book so I've decided not to read it at the moment and maybe read it at a later point in February but I am going to be starting my read of A Court of Thorns and Roses which I'm so excited about and this is obviously in preparation for A Court of Silver Flames and yeah I'm going to be doing a whole reading vlog series separately to my reading vlogs for the books so you can watch those when they are up but yes very very excited about that i have my live show starting at seven and it's currently like 10 past six so i really need to hurry up and update you guys but yeah basically this vlog hasn't gone to plan i've just not been feeling too good really this week and like in the mood to be vlogging or reading or doing anything really it's just been one of those weeks so that's why i am now coming to you guys days later <laughs> but yeah i am gonna close this vlog out here i just want to mention a few things first so the lovely kira sent me some books from my amazon wish list sent me a lovely note and she sent me two books from my wish list and i'm so grateful to you i literally can't thank you enough i'm so like excited to read these but she kindly sent me volumes two and three of tokyo ghoul so i'm definitely gonna be reading these very very soon so so excited to pick these up so thank you so much kira i already dm'd her on twitter 
Twitter and said my thank yous there. Um, but I just want to say thank you again and show you these because this is just such a lovely surprise. It really cheered me up and I'm just very, very excited to read these. I read volume one not long ago. I think it was last month or maybe was it this month? It actually was this month. That's how long this month feels. Yeah, I've read volume one recently. So obviously I'm really excited to read the next two volumes in the series and I plan to get to these very, very soon. Then I also got sent this really, really cool book and yeah i've done a little separate unboxing of it which is already on my instagram and it will also be in this vlog so you've probably already seen it i probably inserted it just before or i'll insert it now Yes, I'm very, very excited about this. So this is called the Octonumi, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, I hope that I am. But you've probably seen this on TikTok, or BookTok as it's called. Um, but look how cool this is. Like, this is so stunning. You will have already seen it. And yeah, I just want to show you this, and I just want to say a big thank you for sending me this book, because I'm very, very excited about it. I don't actually know a whole ton about it. I feel like it's one of those books that you don't want to know too much about. I think you're supposed to go in open-minded and just go in for the thrill of it and for the ride. Um, and yeah, I'm just obsessed with how stunning this book is and the quality of it. You also even get, well, I've already showed this in the clip, but you get this cool little booklet that has like the pronunciation thing and the dictionary as well, which I just think is so cool. So yes, I'm very, very excited about this and very, very thankful that this was sent to me because... I'm obsessed. I'm absolutely obsessed. <laughs> but yes, I don't have any other reading updates. I already told you guys that I finished a couple of books at the weekend. And like I said, I started in Ninth House, got 14 pages in. And I'm just not in the mood for like a dark academia, like that kind of style of book. So yeah, I feel like now because I'm feeling a bit like I'm going down the rabbit hole. Like I'm just feeling not great. So... <laughs> I really want to pick up something really comforting and familiar and I just thought it's perfect time obviously now with the new book coming out. So I will be reading A Course London Roses so do look out for the reading vlog coming for that and then the actual spoiler filled or maybe spoiler free I haven't said yet but the dedicated reading vlog for that because I'm very very excited to get stuck into it again. But yes I just wanted to quickly come and chat to you guys about those things and sign this vlog off here. I've got hair stuck to my lip and it's very tickly. Anyway I'm gonna sign this vlog off here. I know this vlog wasn't great. It was a little all over the place and yeah, it's just been like a bit of a tough couple of weeks. So 
it is what it is yes i do hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog anyway if you did please do give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what books you finished recently and just chat to me i absolutely adore talking to you in the comments it literally makes my day when people comment and I love it so much so I would really really love it if you guys did want to chat to me down in the comments I will have all of my social media my twitter my goodreads and my bookstagram linked in the description bar along with my amazon wish list and some really really important links that are worth checking out including some petitions and other important issues that are happening right now so I definitely recommend hitting the description box and checking out some of those links but yes I do hope that you guys really did enjoy this video I hope that you're all safe and well if you're new here i make bookish videos twice a week and i also host weekly reading sprints every single saturday with a bunch of amazing guests and we do reading <laughs> and have fun so yeah please hit the subscribe button because i'm sure you don't want to miss any of those videos and yeah i hope that you guys did enjoy this one and i'll see you very soon bye